so here we have code to create a task and this is our project so we can use this code to create a task this is our task and uh, I remove this breakpoint now we will um, add some code here to um, to do some GPIOs um, to set some GPIOs and to blink the LEDs so um, I will uh, add uh, these lines with the help of processor expert I will use processor processor expert uh, for the to configure the GPIO pins you can see this project is actually a free R2S project I have made this uh, tool chain free R2S tool chain and uh, you can see my previous video how to add this free R2S tool chain for the tasks uh, and uh, so this is the processor expert window here we can mm, generate code with this button when we press it the code will be generated but first we have to configure uh, the pins with uh, uh, as as a gpio the pin number 15 and pin number 16 we will use this is the component library this is a component inspector here we can see all the pins mm, which we want to configure so when we click this one and go to routing and then we can see here uh, all the options here we can select the GPIO and then we can configure uh, the port P in number 15 and 16 as output so here is the pin 15 and uh, we can configure it as GPIO and also as output so we will see first the generated code there is no uh, configuration present in this file we can go to the port E and port, port D pin and port up to see the pin number 15 and pin number 16 here you can see here this is disabled and also the pin number 15 is disabled so when we will configure these pins with the help of this window, this processor expert, then we we'll see that the code will change. So this is pin number 15 and output as output, pin number 16 as output. So when I generate the code, then we will see that this file will change. So here is the button. We can click this button to generate the code which will configure the pins as GPIO and as output so it will take some time so this is the file you can see this file is now changed we have configured the port, port D as the pins the pin number 15 and 16 here you can see the output direction here is output and here is as GPIO so you can also see it is as GPIO configured and as output configured. So now we have configured these as GPIO outputs. So here we can now add our code to initialize these pins, drive these pins where we can use this driver. So we can add this initialization function on for the pins. This is a driver so this command is this code is complete we can add pin we can add code to set the pin to clear the pin and to toggle the pins these three set clear and toggle these are not complete uh, commands we have to add there is the toggle so these are not complete commands we have to add the pins here but first we can also add um, the clock initialization functions so these two we require we can add at the top so we can configure the clock so this is the first function 
block initialization function and this is the second one these functions are also not complete we have to add the arguments here in the brackets so we can see these functions in the header file they are present um, uh, when you when we see the uh, these functions declarations and definitions then you can see this is the function definition you can see the arguments here this is the first argument this is what we've got this is the second one and then this is the callback pointer so and this is a macro we require these four things uh, we can see these files in this header file you can mm, find uh, these arguments so first argument is this one and we have to copy it and paste it in the main so one by one we will copy all the four arguments of this function so I copy this one first one and the second one is the macro <coughs> so this one clock manager configure counter so I copy this one we can add it here now we will add the other two arguments so we have defined in this file so we can once again see here and then go to the header file and copy them from here so the header file this header file contains these all these four arguments so we can see the function function definition and then we can see the header file and then we can bring these into our main program where we call this initialization function so this command is now complete now we have to do this one configuration update configuration so we can also see here the arguments this one this is usually zero target configuration index and this is the policy this is the macro this we can see the definition of this one and then bring this one also from this header file so I copy these into the main so this is the first one and this is, this is actually the second one this is the first one this is the index this is zero and the other one is the macro so this command is also complete So we can we have now, now configured the clock here we can set the pins now I am copying and pasting this code pin to set the pin to clear the pin and the toggle the pins this toggle command we can put it into the task function this one is a task and then this can then toggle the pins with the delay of 100 milliseconds so this is 100 millisecond now the pins will toggle with 100 millisecond now we can compile this code build this code and then debug this code i hope this will run okay in the run we can now debug it as you can see so I run it from here now it is running the code is running so now I show you my PCB uh, so that you can see how the LEDs are blinking this is you can see okay this is all thank you